All right, hi guys. Adam here from Signature Camper Trailers. Michael's just about to show us how to pack away and fold up the Elite Camping Trailer. I'll try and get a video. Try and get inside. Okay. So, first up is to try and remove the spreader bars. So there's four of those in total. Two at the rear and two at the front. Okay, next job. Let me just get in there for a second, Michael. That's better. Okay, just. There's also two supports at the front to hold the bedding area up. They also just unclip and come out quite easy. That's it. And then there's four, well there's actually six clips to undo. So undo that clip, slide the poles all the way down. That's the front, hard to get around. Just, just let me get around in there. There you go, that's it. So there's four, and the other two are at the rear. That's it, so make, just make sure you lower those completely down. That's it, lock the clip back in so it can't move anywhere. That's pretty much it. And basically inside, that's all there is to do. Lights off, holes out. So as you can see, the front of the camp is already starting to collapse. Just roll the fly screen down. We do normally zip it, not all the way, but most of the way down. And then roll the outside canvas down as well. it. Now we also when we're pulling the stairs up that canvas with the push buttons has to be taken off and there's two locking pins inside there for the ladder. As Michael shown you just make sure you tuck all that canvas in. Perfect. Undo those around the gas struts. Yep. Just follow Michael around to the front. There's two flaps underneath each corner. And there, to prevent the canvas flapping up if, if it's a uh, strong wind. As you can see, I'm folding down the canvas. It's much easier to try and make everything as neat and tidy as possible. Just helps when you fold the camp, the uh, the camper backwards or closing. Just that little bit easier if everything's packed in nice and tight. Yeah. Okay. We'll watch Michael fold. That's it. Done. So the rear is now folded in. Pretty easy. Now again, guys, the better you make this, the easier it is to fold everything up. Okay. Yep, go around the front. There you go. Okay, so winch, so unhitch the front. Now don't be afraid to just let that camper go because it won't run on you. Okay, yep, push it forward, backwards, sorry. Perfect. 
perfect. Get it up to that 90 degree angle. Yep. This again guys, make sure that this canvas is pushed in. Make sure the canvas isn't protruding out between the hinge area here just before you close up. It is, that's why we just wanted to do a video with one person, just to show how it can be done. Yep, take the slide pin out, fold the winch down, slide pin back into position. Undo the winch. over and under the roller. Perfect. Now as I said earlier, don't be afraid to um, just let the, let the camper go up because it won't go all the way up and over. This has to be done. There you go, clipped on, perfect. And again, all you gotta do is make sure that you go around the sides, push the canvas in as best as you can, as neatly as you can. Perfect. And wind. Nice and neat. Yep. Now you may have to do this two or three times depending. We just don't want any canvas to be caught or left outside the camper after we close it. We just want those seals nice and tight. You can see the, the rubber seal there. It needs to be free of any canvas. One little bit there. All good. All good, Michael. We always Actually, I'll tend to the back first. <laughs> yeah, once you've done the back, you know that nothing's going to come undone. Work your way around. Six clips in total. Pack the winch up. The winch is not required for the boat rack. Totally independent. Okay, now there's just two two pins, clevis pins they're called. Pull those out. Struts make it pretty easy to take the weight off. It's just one of those either side. Three clips. That's it. 
those all those pins back in. So there's nine of them all up. And once they're all clipped in and done, you're finished. Ready to hitch up and head to your next campsite. Well done, Michael. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope this uh, video helped. Give us a call 1300 935 400. See you soon, guys. Bye.